Hi everybody, Chip again. I just did a video a couple minutes ago on uh, how to identify resistors and uh, I felt like doing another video. What, what can I say? I'm bored. Now, one of the most important things in electronics, one, of the, one thing you will use over and over and over again is Ohm's Law. Now everybody says that, hey man, I know Ohm's Law. Ohm's Law is easy. I mean, it's E over I R. And that's the easiest way to remember it. And if you were to say that, you were only partially correct. That is one quarter of Ohm's Law. Okay, that's... Okay, well how do you find watts? Watts isn't in there. There's no power. Okay? So, uh... I'm going to try to draw this out. I'm not an artist, so forgive me if I'm terrible. First of all, you're going to start with P, I, E, R. Pier. You tie your boat to it. Easy to remember. Okay? And then, let's extend that up, extend that down, extend this out to the sides, and divide each one into three little segments there. Okay. Now, P, you've got power, which is measured in watts. I, current, measured in amps. R, resistance, measured in ohms and E, electromotive force, measured in voltage, volts. Okay? So now I said you only knew one quarter of the formula. And that's up here, the E over I R. Okay, so, like I was saying in my, my uh, video on resistors, mnemonics, they help me out greatly. Okay, this you'll never remember. I mean, I don't care. You'll never remember it. But if you divide it into four, You've got the word ear. Okay. Then if you do P over I E, you've got pi. Okay. Now this one is starting to sound a little goofy, but the next word is Peter. P over I squared R. P I 2 R. Peter. It just kind of helps keep, me, keep it in my head. And then the other one, I'm sorry, I can't come up with a mnemonic. It's just something you're going to have to remember. You've got E squared over PR. Okay? If you can remember those four, you can remember all of Ohm's Law. Ear, Pi, Peter, and then you have to remember E squared over PR. So now we can start filling in the blanks. Let's start with power. Okay. If you want to find power, you put your finger over the P. Okay, so P is equal to I times E. Okay, where else do we have a P? We have one here. P is also equal to I squared times R. And I didn't draw this out quite right. One, two, yeah, I need three. I squared times R. And I'm sorry I drew my graph a little goofy. You've got to add an extra line to all of these. You've got to have three segments per item there. And now where else do we have a P? We have a P right here. P equals E squared R. or E squared divided by R. I'm sorry. So this is going to be E squared divided by R. So as long as you know any two values, you can come up with power. Okay, you got current times voltage, current squared times resistance, or voltage squared divided by resistance will give you how many watts of power. 
Okay, now if, how if you want to find amps and you don't have, you don't know what amps is or what I is, but you do know what voltage and resistance is. Well, easy peasy. Put your finger over the I, you want to find amps. So this tells us that it is E divided by R. Okay, if you cover this I up, I equals P divided by E. Okay, and if you cover this I up, I, okay, kind of important here, I square. If you cover this I square up, I squared is equal to P divided by R. Okay, so you know from basic algebra what you do on one side of the equal sign you have to do to the other. So if I squared is equal to P divided by R, then all you have to do is find the square root of P divided by R. And that'll tell you power, or uh, the current, using watts and ohms. Okay, resistance, same way. Let's cover up our R up here. Resistance is equal to E divided by I. Uh, let's cover up resistance here. R is equal to P divided by I squared. And let's cover up R here. Is E squared divided by P equals resistance. So E squared divided by P. Easy peasy. Alright, that leaves us with voltage. Okay, you cover your E up. You've now got I times R. Cover your E up on this one. You got P divided by I. And you cover your E up here, but this is an E squared, so keep that in mind. E squared equals P times R. Which, what you do on one side of the equals, you have to do on the other side. So that is going to be the square root of P times R. And there, now you've got the full wheel. There's going to be a lot of times where you're not going to be able to get to a computer to pull it up on the internet. Uh, or if you're going to school and you have to memorize it, this is an easy way to do it. Uh, you know, there's just not a lot of instances where you're not going to have a textbook handy or the internet handy and you have to figure it out. Well, as long as you can memorize these four small ones, you've got all the information you need to find watts, ohms, amps, or volts finding any two of the other numbers. But all in all, that is Ohm's Law, or that's how to find the formulas to, calcu to, calculate, for, to calculate Ohm's Law. And uh, it's real easy. So uh, hopefully this helped you guys out. Uh, any questions, feel free to drop me a line on YouTube. I think my email address is on there too. But uh, hope I helped. Everybody have a good one.